Imagine being born into the world just to die hours later. Now contrast that with a creature that might have witnessed the fall of empires or even outlived human civilizations. This is not science fiction. Our story begins with a tiny, delicate insect, the mayfly. Its name is soft, but its fate is brutal. After spending up to two years underwater as a nymph, the mayfly emerges into the air with fragile wings for the briefest moment of glory. Some species live just five minutes, others barely a day. They don't eat, they don't rest. Their only mission, find a mate, reproduce, and die. In those fleeting moments, every heartbeat counts. A mayfly's life is a reminder. It's not how long we live. It's what we do with the time we have. Now dive deep into the icy Arctic waters, where a ghostly predator moves so slowly it almost seems frozen in time. Meet the Greenland shark, a mysterious giant that can live for 400 to 500 years. That means some of them were born around the time of Shakespeare, and they're still swimming today. Growing just a centimeter per year, they reach maturity at 150 years old. Let that sink in. Imagine waiting a century and a half just to become an adult. Their secret, cold waters, slow metabolism, and patience written into their biology. They don't just survive, they endure. But if you think that's impressive, me the ocean quahog clam, a humble mollusk with a royal record. One individual, nicknamed Ming, lived for 507 years before scientists accidentally ended its reign while studying it. This clam was alive before Galileo looked through a telescope. It sat quietly on the ocean floor, filtering water, witnessing the changing tides of centuries without ever needing the spotlight. Its story teaches us something profound. Sometimes the most unassuming lives carry the deepest wisdom. Silently observing, surviving, and persisting longer than anyone would believe. From five minutes to five centuries, nature's extremes show us that time is relative and precious. So what kind of life would you choose? A burning spark or an endless flame? Until next time, stay curious.